Could this top flight golf ball be your new gamer for 2022? Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, we have the Top Flight Gamer. Chris, you got these from America a few days ago. Uh, have you had a good sleep now? You're a bit grumpy on the last one. No, I'm back in action now. So guys, this golf ball costs $35 a dozen. $30 a dozen. So not the cheapest of golf ball, but looking at it, Chris, how many pieces is it? Three piece ball in comparison to last week's bomb. So a similar to a Pro V1, you see we have these little micro dimples as well. We'll talk you through those in a second. Not gonna lie, we both absolutely smashed it off the first tee, but the camera wasn't working. I will overlay those now because it's only fair, isn't it? That's a lovely knuckle ball again. That's going to be absolutely massive today. Great shot. Three piece performance, distance plus spin plus control. Look at this, we've got like a bit of a DJ mixing set on there. So we've, we've full distance, that's gone like above, that we've broken it, we've broken that. It's a triple threat performance. Oh, triple, threat. triple threat, control from tee to green. Soft, it is an animal cover, soft animal cover. So it should launch fairly high off the bat, but then if it's a low spin ball, that's a nice little combination. I'll tell you what. That is about 50 yards past you. <laughs> so guys, you heard us kept talking about this dimple pattern, and it is dimple in dimple aerodynamics, and that enhances carry distance. Especially on that shot, because I'm about 30 yards past Chris. Well, 30 now, is it getting close? <laughs> Maybe 40. So guys, last week's video on the top flight bomb went down really, really well. A lot of people, especially over in the States, say, oh yeah, we buy that golf ball, primarily because of the price, but then you work out that it does perform quite well. It did feel hard. This one already feels a little bit softer, a little bit nicer. It does, yeah, and it was interesting to see that obviously a lot of uh, Americans were able to say they use that ball, but Europeans were comparing it more to a, well, a Kirkland or a Shrikson Distance, yeah. or, or a Shrikson Distance, an uh, AD333. And that's the big field. thing for me, because in the golf ball market, if you're talking a pound a ball, the Costco Kirkland Performance Plus takes some beating. Look at these two drives here. 40 yards. Social golf today. I mean, we've hit two drives now. We didn't have any audio on the first one, but again, I'll put them on again because how often do you see great drives from us? I've done him again, guys. I was just confirming it was mine. Right, Chris, par five. What have you got in? Be a six time for you with those lost, won't it? It's a great strike and a nice ball fly, but that's going to be a bunker bound, surely. Straight in. Can I, I'm going to hit two, you know, because I think with that wind, it's playing about 240, isn't it? Uh, yes. You've got no idea, have you? So we're into the wind here. We're going to try and play one down, just run it up to the green. Can we do that with an iron cover? Three-piece ball should help, shouldn't it? Oh, go on. So straight away off the bat there, I'm seeing this can come out a lot lower than last week's ball. It's probably double, double the price, near enough. Because you yeah. got two dozen with the bombs, but only a dozen with the gamer. Are you sure you didn't just pick up a pack where someone had nicked a pack? No, not in Dick's Sporting Goods. Oh, they don't have that in Dick's. Definitely not. Right, Chris, that's not... I, I think you've gone wrong club there, you know. I mean, I'm just up here on that right side, missed the bunker. I think the rakes actually kept me out, if you look at that. So I test durability on this, it does claim to be a durable ball, which I think every, you're never going to say it's not a durable ball, are you, on your marketing? No, I don't think so. You're also not going to say it doesn't spin or it doesn't go anywhere either, are you? Yeah, do you want to buy this ball? It's rubbish, last 10 minutes and doesn't go anywhere. Bargain. Oh, that is, oh, what a shot that is. Oh, that's the hardest shot in golf as well. That's the man who's getting a defender this afternoon. Right, I definitely think uh, we're going to go 56, Chris. We're not going to go lob wedge. I think the rakes helped me out there, you know. Stay up, stay up, stay up. That felt really good, you know. Yeah, it felt nice. It felt a lot softer than last week's. Is that good or? I don't know. I'll see that in, 
Uh, right, two birdie putts, one uh, more makeable than the other, but I'll not. Do you want to move in or? I'll give you that for a five. The alignment aid's actually a little bit different than the last top flight we tested. It's, it's not quite as obvious, is it? I mean, I'll put some putts on screen now of the last top flight. I feel like the alignment aid helps me hold those putts and really put Chris to the sword. Tell you what, since America, you're, uh, you're struggling, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe I need to start playing uh, top flights more often. It's just a birdie fest if I can get the <laughs> leg cover on. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the tightest par four in Yorkshire and the tightest man in Yorkshire, so it's a nice match. I'm going to hit driver, I'm one up already. Can we get this into the wind? So we can't get there today, but that's a great golf shot. I'm amazed at the trajectory that these are coming out at for, I mean, let's be fair, it's still not an expensive ball, is it? That's massive. It feels very similar to the uh, Wilson Triad actually, because that was a straight flying golf ball as well, wasn't it? Often when you test golf balls, if you're just having a good day, then you might have a better kind of positive attitude towards it, but that's probably going to be two up. So got to have a positive attitude, Chris. New car day for you today and for me on Thursday. I was about to say, someone must be getting another new one. Well, it's not another one, because it's replacing the old one. Now you see guys, often when we talk balls, we do it for a bit of content, we do it for a laugh, we do it to test golf balls, maybe you guys wouldn't normally test. And sometimes we come up a little bit unstuck with a golf ball that we can't believe doesn't do better, doesn't sell more, people don't use more. Guys, have you ever used a Top Flight Gamer? It's a funny thing because Top Flight in the UK doesn't have a massive reputation, does it? Not anymore. No, it doesn't. It's uh, certainly not a ball that you... We used to call them rock flights, didn't we? Do you remember? Rock flights. Yeah, somebody did comment on my video, rock flights. They didn't go for what I was thinking, which again cannot be said on. Top. Was that it? Yeah. We can beef it out, Chris, don't worry. I've learned how to do that now. Lovely strike. It's just going a bit left on the wind. Sorry, Chris, I was too busy thinking about my ball almost on the centre line again up there. It's a good drive, I'll give you that. Um, so you get eight time, I'm going to hit a little 50 degree in, Chris. See what kind of stoppage we can get with them. That has gone high, but I think it's going to be pin high. Yeah, I mean, it was high on the face as well. If we look at, this is really important to look at when you're thinking about trajectories and things. Middle there, that's probably a little bit too high than what you'd want, really. Yeah, you want to be in the bottom few grooves. So probably my fault, probably strike more than anything. So two good tee shots and two fairly average approaches. Chris has kicked right down into the Bermuda. Uh, and mine, mine actually pitched on the green, just released up. So quite interesting into the wind as well. You would expect that to stop more. I think a Pro V1 stops there. This isn't a shot you want. Oh, that is majestic though. That's a great shot. How did that feel? Felt again, very soft off the face. Strike a little bit towered. Yeah, I mean, suppose it was down in the rough, so you're taking that all day, aren't you? Probably do need to clean the wedges, you're right, Chris. Right, I'm going to hold this for another birdie. Look how black it is up there. Oh, dear. This is where you wish you hadn't have sat there for an hour drinking coffee before we came out. You've got to be happy with that with a 60 degree. Good shot downhill. I thought I'd gone deaf. Right, this to not go too down after two, it's been an onslaught recently. It has been a de depressing time in my life. Hopefully my car cheers me up. Oh, I tell you, see one mention of the Defender. Should I put a picture on or should I send them over to uh, off course for that? No, I'll send them to off Send them over. Are we, are we filming you getting it as well? What a moat. Oh. Right, so we go from the tightest par four in the world to potentially the longest and most difficult par three in. Oh, are you all right? It's practicing for me off road. <laughs> right, guys, par three. Um, this is literally like a three wood. This is going to be horrible. Look at that. 
really see that white cover against the grey sky. Keep coming. I think that's taking a nice bounce actually, I'll take that. Well, it didn't break my tea either. Oh, it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. Come on, foot down. There you go, this is why we got a buggy everyone, we're now down here. We, we will be absolutely knackered without this buggy, so good thinking, Christopher. Oh, the bit of understeer around the corner. Oh, we can see it on the windscreen. Oh no. Oh guys, the rain's here. Chris has just kicked up onto the green. I'm down here on the left. You have a put, Chris, while I've got the camera in my hand. Speed finish. Remember, you're one down. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Right, here you go. All right, see you. Sit. Sit. Tell you what, that grabbed out the roof. <laughs> that was out as well. That was out the toe. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Right, you've got this to go level. Oh, is that a fish pump as well? Oh, I've never seen him move as fast. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Check out part two over on Chris Tennis Golf of the Top Flight Gamer. You know what, as a bit of a recap, I quite liked that. I'm also out of breath. I haven't run that far. See you tomorrow. See you uh, in a minute.